Good morning, everyone. I just turned 20 today, and it feels the same. Wow, what a surprise. No, but for real, though, like, why am I 20? When did time pass this quickly? Anyway, that's not the point of this video. I want to be talking about things that I like about this game while training Love Letter. It's a really nice horse that I got. It's a mare. So for some context, I started playing Star Stable in 2015, I think it was July or June. Um, so it's been a hot minute, you know what I mean? One thing I really enjoyed, not so much anymore, is the racing system. Um, at one point, Star Stable decided to reset the high score boards like five times in a row. And that caused so much frustration for me because I used to spend hours trying to get... <clears throat> my voice is not okay, just woke up. I used to spend hours trying to get, on like, you know, first place in the top ever board thing, and then the Star Stable would just reset the high scores, and I would lose that. At one point, I was like, Star Stable, I'ma whoop your ass to the point where you're gonna be screaming for help and no one's gonna hear you, you know what I mean? Because we're gonna use duct tape um, and cover the little mouth of yours. <laughs> I'm so sick. Um, anyway, and yeah, I was like, I'm done racing, dude. I'm done. And then one more thing that made me really stop racing was the fact that they changed the way the horse would interact with the ground and the objects, the elements from the game. So a few years back, you could get amazing boost jumps. Um, like, let's say you would get close to the stream and you would jump you would get like underneath the ground a little bit and then send off a bit forward. Now they changed the interaction with the ground elements and you can no longer get those nice boost jumps. Um, there used to be some shortcuts you could do, you know, by like um, jumping and hitting like fences and obstacles without like crashing into them. And it's like, dude, they just changed that. I don't know for what reason they did that, but they changed it and now it's really frustrating. Um, yeah. So racing used to be like the thing. Like I used to get on this game and just race all day. Um, if you're one of my like old Star Stable friends watching this, then you know that. Um, I have no more Star Stable friends, and man, it feels so good. It feels so good. Um, I don't know. I just feel like investing in. It just helped me a lot to invest in my real life friendships and relationships so much. And like, I don't really play this game as often anymore. Like I played when I. Uh, when I listen to a podcast, for example, and I want to do something, I either clean my room or I just get on Star Stable and train a horse. Or when I like record a video, I play the game, obviously. And it's nice to play it once in a while and not so much anymore because, to be honest, even if I wanted to, like, I wouldn't have the time because I work every day, except for like Sundays. Anyway, it doesn't matter. Um, so yeah, point is, I don't have friends in this game and I don't care. I, it feels good to be like this. Um, it's just not something that I want anymore. And it's not because of like any bad experiences or like anything like that. No, it's just because it would consume so much of my time. Time that I would rather spend and invest into real life relationships that are more likely to remain and stay for a lifetime. Um, I do have online friends, just not from Star Stable, so I'm not saying that they don't exist or last. They're just not as stable in my opinion. Um, yeah, anyway, we completely drifted off the subject there. Went off the rails with that. Um, yeah, one more thing, <laughs> probably the biggest factor. And the thing that really kept me playing this game was the fact that it's a horse game. I fell in love with horses in 2015 for some reason. And that I'm so happy I discovered this horse world. It just made my life so much better. And kind of like brought color to my life, if that makes sense. And, um, you know, with horses, with Star Stable, Briar Horses, with horses in real life and all that, it's just like the best, dude. I'm so happy about it. Um... And yeah, horses in this game, they've kept me really close to Star Stable, which makes sense because it's a horse game. If it was not a horse game, I would probably not be playing this game, to be honest. Because, like, horses really excite me. 
you know what I mean? Like, yeah, we do get too many horses in the game, and the gameplay experience remains the same, which kind of sucks. But I mean, they're horses, so that's cool. <laughs> At least that. You know what I mean? Also, guys, I just woke up. My voice sounds so crusty and rusty. Yesterday's been a full day for me, so I still feel really tired. I went in a different city in Romania to celebrate my birthday with my girlfriend. And we left at like 5.30 a.m. and came back at like 11 p.m. that night. So it was, it was a full day and I'm really tired. But I really feel like talking to you guys, so I might as well do that. Yeah, so horses, the racing system. And then at one point it was friends that kept me in this game. Not anymore. Can you guys believe that I started playing this game when I was 13? And now I'm 20? What? Wow, I can't comprehend that. You know, one thing I really like about this game is the fact that we have so many horse breeds. It's so versatile in that sense, because if you play Alicia Online, even Equestrian, the game, um, the new horse game that came out, um, they just have the same mold and model and just different coats, you know, like Rival Stars too. And I understand why it's really hard to make a new breed and take so much time. And the fact that we have so many breeds to choose from, that's so amazing. It's really versatile and it's really cool because we have so many options to choose from. So I really like that. Um, dude, this rat, the Ecletech. Ecletech, they look like rats, dude. Um, like literally rats. I know I call everything a rat, but this one does look like a rat. And you cannot tell me I'm wrong. Um, I know Max King Moon has this exact horse and it's called Rat. Because it looks like one, you can't tell me it doesn't. Um, yeah. So, horse breeds, really versatile. Um, you know what's not versatile? <laughs> the genders in this game. You can only be a girl. Anyway, I'm, I'm over that, so I don't care, I'm not gonna talk about that. I wish I could have a wiener in this game, but I can, and that's okay. I really like the fact that this game is a MMORPG, so it's a massively multiplayer online role-playing game i believe it's what the definition is also where am i going so that's amazing because even though we have like the quests and all that that i'm not passionate about which i know is kind of weird people play this game for the story and i'm like dude just shut up like when one of those npcs open their mouths i'm like shut up just don't even talk to me give me the xp i want to level up so i can be faster in the game and I just want to ride these horses, just don't even talk to me, because I'm going to whoop your ass, you know what I mean? I don't know, it's weird, but like, I don't care about the quest, dude, I don't care. I just want to, I don't care about it. The magical story quest, I don't care about it. I want to play and just ride these horses till they drop, you know what I mean? That's all I want to do. Just race. I wish we could breed in this game, I would breed all the time. Why did I come here? I'm so dumb. Yeah, so it's really cool that we can just like, you know, explore the world and it's such a big world. I mean, at first it felt like that, and it still is if you think about it. Like, if you're not using the trailer, trying to get from one place to another, it's not really that fast. Like, it's not that easy, because let's say you want to go from, I don't know, Steve's Farm to New Hillcrest, right? Like, that's gonna take a hot minute. Yeah, it's really cool that we have this world to discover, especially when you're new to the game and you're a noob. It just feels like... You're never gonna stop discovering more and more because the land is so big but it's not like you think your big is literally as big as the globe you feel like you're never gonna actually get to unlock all the areas or like discover all the places because your big feels so big but it's really not after you you know discover all the lands play the game a little bit you realize oh it's that's it that's all there is to it and then you have nothing to do well star civil wants to engage the new players a lot so that they can get Star Rider, buy Star Coins, and then the old players <laughs> are just neglected like that. You know, after we gave them the money and all that, they're like, thank you, thank you for the money. We are going to focus on the new players now and, you know, fish them as we fished you. Anyway, that's not our topic for another day, but um, it'd be like that if you think about it. Pretty sure Rattle made a video about that. I love Rattle's videos, they're so informative, and so factual. They're rooted in facts and proof, which is really cool. Yeah, so this game is a nice one. I like the fact that it's so big. Like the, the land, you know, it, it is big at the end of the day. Like even after you discover all of it, 
you can be like this map is small because it's not we know what i don't like about star's table i know this is a video about like things that i like i don't like the fact that we have to be like separated onto like servers based on our region which makes sense because of the time zone and like the day and light in the game and all that but man i want to meet people from all over the world not just from my eastern european you know side of the world um, and it makes sense in a way because the world is so big as I just said and having a server with like International people like all over the world like wor worldwide people that would crash the game for sure Like the game is already laggy as it is. You know what I mean? It would probably just crash if We had um, like a worldwide server and Everyone from all over the world would be like there enjoying the server So yeah Am I losing my voice? Like, I'm so tired and I speak like I'm... I just woke up though, like, I'm not going back to sleep. Yeah, probably the biggest thing I like about this game is... The horses, the graphics, it's a 3D game. Um, the horse breeds, the racing system. I mean, not the system itself, but the fact that we can race with horses. I'm not a fan of horse racing in real life. And I really am not. I'm not gonna get into that, because I don't want to cause any, like, conflict in the comments. It's a nice game. I complain a lot. I know I do. I'm not gonna say I don't because I do. I'm a very picky person in general, even in life. What I'm trying to say is that I am a picky person. I have high standards. That's why I complain a lot. But that doesn't mean I can appreciate things or see the good side in them. And Star Stable is a really nice game. And I really appreciate the team and the game. Even though many times it comes off um, as if I'm not. And I'm just like bashing onto the game, which is not the case. I just have very strong opinions and I, I'm i not gonna like not, you know, talk about them because I feel like we live in a world where everything is so grey and what I mean is that people have very like vague and faded opinions, they're not like strong opinions and everyone is trying to be liked by everyone and please everyone and I feel like we're losing the authenticity of us as individuals because we are different and we have different opinions and it's okay to have strong opinions and to not be like the rest and you know think like the rest you can have different opinions and like different things or dislike different things and that doesn't make you evil or mean that makes you human and that makes you you at the end of the day you know what i mean because you're an individual you're different you have different passion desires and all of that yeah they don't want this to turn as cheesy as it turned out to be but can take it back i guess all right everyone well let me know what you like about this game the most um in the comments dude stop turning my angle i'm trying to make an audio here um if you guys want to support me on patreon then i'll link that down below in the comments if you want to buy my merchandise again it's my bio i mean my um description box if you want to follow me on instagram it's at denise white store my post pretty often there and yeah i'll see you guys in my next one bye everyone <laughs>